Guys, welcome to another video. You've got Mr. Everything English and boy, oh boy, we haven't spoken in a while. The last time we spoke, guys, was on August the 11th in our English language paper 2 live stream. Since then, you guys did your GCSEs, you got your results. And now we are here on September the 13th. And you're probably wondering, sir, why are you making this video now? In true English teacher fashion, guys, every journey, every story has a conclusion, has a resolution, has an ending. We never leave things hanging. We don't do cliffhangers. So, guys, this video is for me to you just to say three things. Firstly, guys, I want to say well done to all of you. On August the 24th, guys, I was nervous. Even though I'm not your physical school teacher, so I'm not accountable for your grades, I'm invested in your grades. I want to see you guys do well. Whether you are the students that I was tutoring all year or whether you are the students that benefited from the YouTube videos. I'm invested in all of you guys. So guys, August 24th, I was sitting there waiting, looking at my DMs, looking at my emails and just waiting for the results to come in. And guys, when they started coming in, I was happy, proud and gassed for every single one of you. Well done, well done, well done. I saw messages, sir, from being predicted a grade two, I got a grade six. From a grade five, I got a grade eight. I got two nines. You guys smashed it all across the board. Now guys, what do you see, right? You know when BBC and like ITV do their results day videos and they have kids lined up and the kids open their results. You know the kids they pick? They pick grade nine kids. So when the kid opens their paper, it's like, I got a nine, 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 and I'm gonna go on to do this. What that does is, right, it gives the perception that if you didn't get a grade nine or a grade eight, your grade doesn't count. Guys, we don't work like that. That's not what we do around here. Learning is about progress, and that is why I'm saying well done to all of you. You guys who went from a grade one to a grade five, grade five for you is awesome. From a grade six to a grade eight, for you an eight is an awesome. Whatever your journey was, where you started and where you ended up, that's what we care about. And that is what I'm saying well done to you. Your grade is your grade. It's a number that you achieved, but it's that journey that you took from where you started to where you ended up. So guys, well done to all of you and well done to the adult learners, guys. I got messages from people saying, I'm 44 years old, I'm 52 years old, and I did my GCSEs watching your videos. So guys, well done to every single one of you. And then I wanna say thank you. Thank you for what? Guys, you could have watched any YouTube person, you could have used any revision guide, but you guys trusted me, and that's kind of where the compliment lies. You guys trusted me thinking, you know what, this guy seems to know what he's talking about, so let's trust him with our GCSEs. So guys, thank you for that. It's not about how many subscribers, it's not about um, uh, a number in the bottom of the page. It's about the impact. I could make these videos and it could have no benefit for you. But the fact that you guys are using the videos and you're implementing it in your work and then you're getting the grades at the end. Guys, Pretzel's taking over. Priest story, Netflix story. This is taking over. AQA must hate me because of these videos, guys. But it is what it is. Freud. Freud. Everyone is doing Freud. So, guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because, honestly, guys, it seems as though I kind of taught the whole country. And I don't say that to kind of, like, with a big head. I say that with, like, a pressure. There's a pressure on my shoulders that I have to deliver for all of you because you all are kind of trusting me with that uh, content. So guys, thank you for putting me in that position. And finally, good luck. Isn't it crazy how life works? The last time we spoke, you guys were getting ready for your GCSEs. Today, you guys are either in college, you guys are doing an apprenticeship, some of you guys may have gone into work, or some of you may be getting ready for resets. Within three months, look at how life has changed. But guys, for me to you, I want to say good luck for whatever the future holds for you guys. 
Good luck for your education. Good luck for life. Good luck for the future. I'll give you guys three advice, three pieces of advice, guys. Number one, whatever you do, give it your best. Don't become lazy. Don't become like a daisy kill, as I say. Don't, don't, don't settle for anything other than the best. Be your own competition. Yeah, don't compete with other people. Compete with yourself. Number two, guys, be careful the people you keep around you, the company. Because ultimately, guys, the company you keep will wear, on, wear off on you. So just be conscious as you get older, as you move through life, the kind of people you surround yourself with. And number three, guys, try to find and do stuff that makes you content. Those three things, guys, is what I wish for you guys. And it's me saying to you guys, good luck for whatever the future brings. And finally, guys, if you're a current year 11 watching this video, get ready for the journey because we have a year of super hard work making sure that we do even better than the class of 2023. Guys, as always, as always, as always, it's been Mr. Everything English. Please do share your results in the comment section. I want to see you guys flood it with all of your results. And guys, wait, 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 before I forget, did I shave my hair bold? Guys, the morning of your English language paper two exam, as you guys walked into your exam, I walked into a barbershop. And if I can, I'll share the picture on the screen if you can find it. While you guys were sweating away answering question one, two, three, four, five, I was sweating away thinking, mm, am I gonna really shave my hair bold? Why am I doing this? But I did it anyway. I sat there guys, I shaved my hair bold, that's been the most common question, by the way, for the past three months. Nobody asked me about grade boundaries, about GCSEs. Everyone asked me, sir, did you do it? Did you shave your hair bold? Guys, the answer is yes. And I'm thinking of keeping it this length. What do you guys think? Because it's just so much easier to manage in the morning. Anyway, guys, we digress. We digress. We digress. Guys, as always, well done for what you did. Thank you for your support and good luck for your future. It's been Mr. Everything English. Peace.